Um, so in the Newtown Theater, there's a Pinocchio show, and at the Pinocchio show, I'm just saying what my favorite part is. My favorite part is when um, Pinocchio lies because he like says a big monster comes out and steals the coin. It's really funny. And then um, I also like the sound effects because well, first of all, my friend does the sound effects, and second of all, it's just nice. <laughs> my favorite part of it. Pinocchio is when they get eaten by the whale. Hello, my name is Jackson White and I just wanted to say that my favorite part of this show is when we get to go out and make the water, in this case the material, ripple and wave. Hello, I am Parker Newman and my favorite part of the play is my twin sister Quinn who plays Hickory Cricket in the play, says, I'm just the person of Cricket, the teacher. My name is Quinn Newman, and I play Hickory Cricket. My favorite part in the show was when I was encouraging the audience to help me make the cricket noise. Cricket! Cricket! My name is Catherine White, and I played as Lefty and Lamplight. My favorite part when I was Lefty was, was when I was not happy with Pinocchio imitating me, and my favorite part is Lamplick was when we turned into donkeys. Hi, I'm Laurel. I played as the Blue Fairy and the Puppeteer Alberta. Hi, I'm Adeline. I played Linguini. My favorite part is when Pinocchio lies and his nose grows because it's really funny. And my favorite part, what he says, is when the monster flies in from the sky because it's super funny and his nose grows. Hey, that's my favorite part too. Well, at least you know. <laughs> I'm Leo Shucky and I played Jill. My favorite part of the show when was the whale when I got to eat Pinocchio and Hickory. My name is Advey O'Neill. I played Jack. And my favorite part was when I turned into a donkey. My name's Sarah Feely and I play Lorenza. My two favorite parts are at the beginning when I know all my lines very, very well there and I like introducing all the puppets and then also when I give candy to all the kids at the toy land. Um, my name is Apuntika Anil and my two favorite parts are when um, I was in the cage and I was like telling all the lies and my nose was growing. I think it was a really funny scene. And yeah, um, my second favorite part was when we were in the whale and we were looking for my father. Um, and I just think that was like a nice scene. Hi, I'm Abby and this is Zoe. And we were both puppets from the Pinocchio play. I was named Macaroni and she was Pepperoni. Yeah, so my favorite part of Pinocchio is probably the water scene, all of that with the whale and stuff. What do you think? Uh, my favorite part was like the getting ready and like the aftermath of like the production because I just like getting ready and like the great feeling that we actually did something at the end. I agree. Hi, my name is Andrew McNamara. I was Cooper the Fox and Jack, one of the bad kids in the play Pinocchio. And my favorite part about Pinocchio was when I was the fox on stage. Hello, my name is my name is William, and uh, I was Trapetta. And my favorite part of the play Pinocchio was when I was inside the whale. 1981, Carlo Cody began to write a story of a puppet in an Italian newspaper that was published just for children. He wanted to make the stories make people think. In the original stories, Pinocchio was a brat. He made poor choices and was selfish and uncaring. The moment Geppetto carves him out into a miraculous block of wood, Pinocchio runs away and refuses to go home. In Colodi's stories, Geppetto lived a great death. It is believed that when Geppetto was eaten by a shark, in the original stories, this is referred to all of the angry people who kept coming after Geppetto for, for the money he owed them. These people were called loan sharks. In today's story, Geppetto is eaten by an even bigger problem, a whale. In the original stories, 
The blue haired fairy rescues Pinocchio from the consequences of his bad behavior. It is believed that Carlo Colonni may have modeled his fairy after his sister. The children who run away to the playland are turned into donkeys. In Carlo Colonni's time, people who had to work hard and live were called donkeys. Carlo Colonni's message to children was that they needed to go to school and study so they did not have to work for labors. They needed to care about other people and not let others influence them or pull their strings. We hope you enjoy our presentation of Pinocchio.
to the pool. That's no problem. I have one right here.
get too late. I'll never know you're gone. Wait. Make up your mind, kid. I don't have all day. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the land of toys. I brought special candy for everyone. Yum, candy. Did you bring us some more candy? Sure did, right here.
puppets were the best in the world. I didn't lie. And so you see, our play is done. We hope you all have had some fun. Next time, our